let's look at another example here. Let's say that we're given another initial value problem uh, with the function y prime is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 divided by 2y minus 4 with the initial value y1 is equal to 3. So first thing we need to do is rearrange this equation uh, into the separable differential equation format. So we just uh, divide through or multiply through 2y minus 4 and uh, notice that this y prime is dy dx. So multiplying through we get 2y minus 4 is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 and uh, multiplying through uh, dx we get 2y minus 4 dy is equal to 3x squared plus 4x minus 4 dy. So now integrate both sides and this is equal to y squared minus 4y is equal to x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus c. Now let's use our initial value right here to determine what the fact or the constant of integration is. Just plug in our values. So we got 3 squared minus 4 times 3 is equal to 1 to the third plus 2 times 1 squared minus 4 times 1 plus c and we find that c is equal to negative 2. So with this we can determine our implicit solution and our implicit solution is going to be equal to y squared minus 4y is equal to x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. So that's again our implicit solution. So now we need to determine what our explicit solution is. We need to get this function into the format of y is equal to yx. So to do that we first need to rewrite it. Uh, let's rewrite it as y squared minus 4y minus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 is equal to 0. So to solve this, all we need to do is recognize that this is a quadratic in y, and so we can use the quadratic formula to solve it. However, unlike quadratics you are used to, at least some of the constants in this quadratic will not actually be constants, but will in fact involve x's, and I'm talking specifically about this term right here. So the quadratic in this case, uh, we have to define, since we're going to use the quadratic equation, we've got to uh, define a, b, and c. So a is going to equal to 1, b is equal to negative 4, and c is equal to negative x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2. So plugging that into the quadratic, we got um, quadratic equation. We got yx is equal to 4 plus or minus the square root of 16 plus 4 times x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 all divided by so now we can factor, uh, we can look at this uh, equation and know that we can factor out a 4 uh, out from under the square root and it will come out as a 2 and then simplify a little. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's start with a clean page here. Let's factor out the 4 and then simplify and we get uh, yx is equal to 4 plus or minus 2 times the square root of 4 plus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x minus 2 all divided by 2 
and we can simplify this even more as 2 plus or minus the square root of x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. So notice that we actually, this is, uh, this is our solutions here, and notice that we actually have two solutions, plus or minus, but there's only a single solution, explicit solution to this separable differential equation. So to figure that out, which one is correct, we can apply the initial condition to this. So plugging in 1, x equal 1 into the solution, we get y, 1, which is equal to 3, is equal to 2 plus or minus the square root of 1 to the third plus 2 times 1 minus 4 times 1 plus 2, which is equal to, which simplifies to 2 plus or minus uh, 1. So we know that our answer is going to be 3 or 1. And so we know in this case that the answer needs to be 3. So it can't be 2 minus 1, it has to be 2 plus 1. So in this case the plus is the correct sign for our solution. So the explicit solution then is yx is equal to 2 plus x to the third plus 2x squared minus 4x plus 2. So that's our explicit solution and how we go about finding when we have to use the quadratic which one, which of the two solutions plus or minus is correct.